Hi and welcome back to my art nook. Today we will look at how we can make this beautiful tree inside a bottle. Before we get into the making video, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I make a new video. Here is the list of all the material that you would need. I cut the craft wire into 4 inch strips. How many you need would depend on how big your tree is going to be. Now I am first putting a brown bead into it. Once I have the brown bead in, now I need the green beads in. I am taking 12 beads at a time. Once I have my 12 green beads, I'm going to take the other end of the wire and put it through the green bead again so that I make a loop with the wire. Uh, make sure that you take it through only the green, sorry, brown bead and then pull it together and make it like a petal, like this. It's time to add two more brown beads. And once I have these two brown beads, I'm going to put 12 green beads again. Once I have all the beads in, I am going to loop it again. Uh, this time make sure that you take the wire through the last brown bead that you put in. Again just one brown bead. Just put it through like that. And pull it together. Like that so you have two petals now I am going to repeat this two more times Once I have my four petals, I am going to add just one more brown bead at the end so that we have one brown bead between one whole petal. I hope you understand. Now I'm going to pull both the ends of the wire together and twist them just like that. and then cut the excess wire now tuck this wire in safely towards the back and you have something that looks like a flower if you look here I made a handful of these flowers for our 
The ones in my hand are all with 12 green beads in each petal. However, as you go up the tree, the width, the di diameter of the tree becomes smaller and smaller. So what I did is I made a few where I started cutting down on the number of green beads. So after 12, I made 11, then 10, then 9, 8, and so on and so forth. When I got to just two beads, I did not use the brown beads. If you see, I did it the whole thing with green because at the top you see less of brown and more of green. I made two more with just green beads and then a bunch of just rounds with brown for our trunk. Here I'm making another small circle. I'll tell you at the end why I'm making this. Let's go ahead and put it all together. Here's the salt shaker that I'm using to put this tree in. I cut the chopstick in the size that I need to fit inside the bottle. Now it's time to start putting this together. Once you put it together, this is how it should look, like a tree. Now once I have it all together, I'm going to put the glue at the bottom and put it in the bottle. My glue takes 24 hours to cure, so I have some cotton balls in there to hold it in place. Now that the glue is cured, it is time to add the final touches to this. If you look here on top, you can still see the chopstick. This is exactly why I made that little circle. I'm going to add, put glue on it and then fix it on top so that you don't see the stick. Once I put that, I am going to put an eraser on top of it so that it holds it down and I let it dry. While that dries, I'm going to prep my lid. If you want, you can just put the lid on top, plain and simple. That looks good too. But I am going to add this pebble on top and put a butterfly on top of it. This butterfly, I am not going to show how I made this in this tutorial. I'm going to make another video on that. I will add glue to it and stick it on top. Once the glue is dry, go ahead and put the lid on top and our beautiful tree in the bottle is done and ready. I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment and do share this video with your friends. Thank you and have a good day. Take care.